Hi everyone, NZ Tech Freak here once again for AndroidNZ.net. And firstly, an apology. We've been a bit quiet on the blog's YouTube channel for the last couple of months, ever since the Galaxy Note ice cream sandwich walkthrough. And that's of course all going to change with the release of the Samsung Galaxy S3 in the last week. And we're going to be launching into all our usual coverage for a new device showing things like its connectivity options, GPS, video playback and so forth. Um, those things are going to be upcoming and we're going to start our video coverage for the Galaxy S3 with a guide for routing the Galaxy S3. Now fortunately Samsung have stayed true to form with the Galaxy S3 and they haven't locked the bootloaders and that made it fairly trivial for a chap called Chainfire over at XDA to, to get root for the Galaxy S3 and he's put together a really simple and straightforward process that you can follow um, here on the video and of course with our really excellent written guide at the blog uh, to root your Galaxy S3. Now the root happens in two parts. The first part we're going to show you here is going to be a screen capture of the PC side of the root process um, and then we're going to switch to the second part of the root process and that's actually done on the phone. We're going to show you both those parts on the video here today. Now there's a few things that you need to get first of all before we start. There's three files that you'll need to download and you'll find a link to download those at the written guide on the blog. You're going to need to download the program Odin. You can see I've extracted it on my desktop here. It's sitting on the left hand side of the screen. You'll also need to download Chainfire's Clockwork Mod um, installation file and then you'll also need to download his Clockwork Mod super user um, application and that's the one that's going to give you the full root access uh, over the Galaxy S3. So the first thing that we need to do, having already extracted Odin, is to extract the uh, Chainfire Clockwork Mod file um, to a .tar file. So I'm going to do that on screen now. So we're going to select the Clockwork Mod installation file and we're going to extract it and you could use either 7-zip or WinRAR for this, of course. And then following on from that, we're of course going to jump into Odin itself uh, and flash it to the phone. So what you need to do uh, is put your phone into download mode. So you need to power the phone off. So you know, long press the power key, select power off, um, wait a little while and you'll feel a little thrill of vibration to say that the phone is fully powered off. Uh, then once that's done, you can enter download mode. So to do that, you need to press and hold the volume down button. And at the same time, press and hold the home button. And then press and hold the power button. And hold that for a few seconds until you see the splash screen, the Samsung Galaxy S3 screen. And release the buttons and it should take you into download. Once you're in download mode, what you need to do is then open the program Odin on your computer. So I'm going to do that now. You can see it's sitting there on the desktop on the left-hand side. You need to click the PDA button and navigate to the Clockwork Mod Recovery tar file that we just extracted. And I've got that on the desktop, so we'll select that one. Then you need to connect your Galaxy S3, which is now in download mode, to your PC with the micro USB cable. And when that happens, it should hopefully show up in Odin as being recognized and you can see that it's there so the drivers have all been correctly installed and the phone is talking to Odin then you just need to simply hit the start button and what that's going to do is install Clockwork Mod Recover on your phone um, and from that point on we'll be able to proceed with the route and actually install Super User from Clockwork Mod Recovery now that it's happened and you can see that's all complete it's gone fine and it says remove there because the phone is now rebooting so Okay, so here we've got the phone, and first thing we need to do is to power it off, obviously. So we're going to long press the power button, power it off, and wait for that little vibration that tells you that it's fully powered down. Then this time we're going to need to boot the phone into recovery mode rather than download mode. It's actually a very similar process, except we're going to hold volume up at the same time as we hold the home button and then the power button. So you can see I'm just getting positioned to press all three buttons simultaneously now. And the phone's going to boot and it should go into Clockwork Mod Recovery, which we've just flashed, and there it is. Okay. Um, once we're in Clockwork Mod Recovery, things are very straightforward. You navigate with the volume keys and use the home button to select things. So we need to go to install zip from card. 
And then we need to go to choose zip from internal SD card. That's where we saved uh, the super user file to earlier. Select super user there. And then go through the confirmation screen to flash it to the phone. And it's going to take just a few seconds to do that, all going well. And yep, it's already finished. So now we've got Clockwork Mod Recovery installed on the phone, flashed with Odin on the computer side, and now we've installed Super User using Clockwork Mod Recovery. So, this is the acid test of course, we need to reboot the phone now and we should hopefully find that Super User application in our application tray and find that we have root privileges. And the phone's just rebooting there. And that's the first time I've seen the Android is upgrading uh, warning when booting a Galaxy S3 and presumably that's the super user application which is doing that. And one more screen, there we go. So we can see that we've got super, super user installed on there. We'll upgrade the super user binary. And if we head across, we can see super users enabled and that's it, that's the whole process. The Galaxy S3 is now rooted. Um, it's really that simple. And of course, there's lots of things you can do with root, root access, uh, such as backing your phone up. And I recommend actually that's the first thing you do once you get root access is to make what's called an Android backup and also to back up a folder called EFS. Uh, those are both vital things that you need to do if you're going to be installing custom ROMs and things that could potentially cause you strife. So you always want to be able to return to a working state and those are two requisites for that. Um, there is a guide for how to back up your rooted Android phone, um, specifically Samsung models at Android and Z.net, so I recommend you check that out if you're not already intimately familiar with those processes. Um, lots of other things you can do as well, of course, like running uh, Tegra 3 only, in inverted commas, uh, games, or using ad blockers in your browsers, and so on and so forth. Lots and lots of advantages to root, and as you can see, the process is really pretty straightforward, so no reason not to. Um, that's all we want to show you for today anyway, that's our root guide and make sure to check out the full written guide at the blog also. So that's um, NZ Tech Freaks signing off for AndroidNZ.net.